Being nominated for a Best New Artist Grammy is a pretty huge milestone for any, and I mean any, new artist in the industry. Today's episode is brought to you by The Uncarrier, introducing T-Mobile One, all unlimited, all in. But before these artists were Grammy nominated, they were just normal people like you and I. Well, kind of. Aside from winning a Grammy Award, being nominated for one is just as huge of an achievement in its own. This year, the nominees are Kelsey Ballerini, The Chainsmokers, Chance the Rapper, Maren Morris, and Anderson Puck. I'm sure you all know a lot about them now that they're all famous musicians with songs playing on the radio, but did you know what these stars were doing before they were Grammy-nominated artists? To no one's surprise, they were still all making music and they were also playing in much smaller venues compared to the places they're playing in now. But let's get to know these artists a little better, shall we? First up on our list is Kelsey Ballerini. Way before this, Chica became a part of Taylor's squad and performed on huge stages. She was just a country girl trying to make her mark in the music industry. Music was always a big part of Kelsey's life. The singer wrote her first song at the young age of 12 and eventually signed a deal with Black River Entertainment at the age of 19. Eventually, she became a big musical sensation, but before that, she was sitting in the stands watching Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran perform together and staying up late to write songs in the studio. Here we go, same old thing. I know what I need you means. On that curve, 10 past two, waiting on me to rescue you. By 2014, she was named as CMT's Next Woman of Country and performed for the first time on the Grand Old Opry stage in 2015. Nowadays, you can't go anywhere without hearing a Chainsmokers song playing on the radio or at the mall. The guys made a huge impact in music back in 2014 when their single Selfie reached number 16 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. But before they were making their own tunes, Alex and Drew started off by making remixes of songs from indie bands to get their name out there. Needless to say, it worked like the charm. Many of you probably knew about Chance the Rapper way before he went viral for his reaction to Beyonce saying hi at the MTV VMAs in 2016. But did you guys know that before he became famous for his incredible verses and having his third mixtape become the first streaming only project to earn a Grammy nomination, he was making mixtapes during his 10 day suspension from high school and spitting rhymes in public libraries and at open mic nights. You made a mixtape? Good job. I hope you get a good job. We was all outcasts, only less than a good mob. I performed at Fun Fair. Fun fact, I'm never going back to school. Been there, done that. Maren Morris is another well-deserved artist that was nominated for the Best New Artist Grammy Award. Before the singer made a huge name for herself, she wrote for a number of other country artists like Tim McGraw. And get this, she released her first studio album titled Walk On when she was just 15. 15 people. It's a wonder she wasn't a huge artist then, but you know, it all happens in due time when it's supposed to happen. Last year, she was named CMA's New Artist of the Year, so she's definitely earned her spot on this list. And last but not least, there's Anderson Pack. The artist has had quite a few hardships in his life and was once homeless with both his wife and infant son. And after that moment in his life, he revealed that being homeless built a lot of character and really influenced his music. Anderson started working on his debut album in 2011, but eventually released his debut album in 2012 titled OBE Volume 1, as well as his second a couple of months later titled Lovejoy under the pseudonym Breezy Lovejoy. Body moving to the breakbeat, dirty dancing to the JBs. Baby girl, you better not dance with none of these other is the way you dance with me. Now that you know so much more about these artists, who are you going to be rooting for this Sunday at the Grammys? You have to let me know in the comment section below. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I love it. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll see you next time. Click to the left for all the hit songs that were snubbed for a Song of the Year Grammy nomination. And we'd like to thank our sponsor, T-Mobile. T-Mobile One is all unlimited, all in. Switch today.